the thing that is the, the greatest challenge, I think, is, is staying, uh, keeping up with the competition, right? This is a very competitive industry. It moves very quickly. So, you know, being responsive to the market and to your customers is really the key. From where I sit, we're competing with uh, how people interact with the Internet. So social networks are a competition. Uh, Real-time web applications like Twitter uh, are, 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 are a competition. Search engines are a competition. Mobile applications sitting on the iPad where you never ever see a top-level domain associated with an app are a competition. And so the competition space is much, much broader. So again, understand what your audience is looking for and, and, and be able to supply that. Uh, your product needs to ad be able to adapt to the environment. It needs to be something that the, um, the general population or target audience uh, needs. Listening to the public, uh, listening to the various uh, groups, um, understanding your end user customers, and that means talking to your registrar um, distribution channel or other vendors who are uh, marketing your top level domain and making sure that they are providing you the feedback that you need um, to understand what is working and, and what is not working. Understanding the history, we've had uh, prior rounds of new top level domains enter the market understanding how they've performed, uh, where the successes have been, where the failures have been, why, a very key. I look at .cat, for example, and while you know, their registrations are less than 100,000, they're successful. They've, they've really delivered upon bringing a, an identity to the internet for the people that live in Catalonia. But we have to focus on how to respond to the, the needs of the community. And therefore, there may be uh, some occasions when we are approached by third parties to try to you know, uh, uh, bring new services or different values to .cat and we have to understand which uh, belong to uh, the identity of our TLD and which do not. The success factor, the critical success factor for any new TLD is going to be its ability to position itself against a, a niche that has need um, and, and sell it properly so that so that a, a solid quantity of names sell to meet the objectives of the TLD, uh, and a solid number of those renew every year, so you can continue to build the business year after year. If you're not planning to sell domains, so for instance, if you're a dot brand or you're using things for internal use, what you really need is uh, purchasing skills, is the ability to find the right service provider, negotiate the right contract. At the end of the day, that's the skills you need. However, if you want to sell domains, then the skills that you're really looking for are multi-channel sales and marketing skills because basically everything else can be uh, subcontracted out but the success and failure of your business is going to lie on your revenues and your revenues are completely derived from sales and marketing.